What made him this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chan. On May 18, 2009, Christian reappeared on YouTube after a two-week-long absence, announcing the relaunch of his love quest. I still am looking for an 18, 27-year-old, smoke-free, non-alcoholic, non-black woman. But most importantly, she's got to be caring, true, and honest. So, if there are any true, caring, honest women, not any trolls, that wish to uh, look me up and uh, schedule a date, You'll have to uh, find me in person, and also it'll have to be a chance meeting. In which, in that case, I will not be accepting any phone calls or emails. So you'll just have to try push. You'll just have to push your luck on uh, getting a date with me. So that's just the way life is. So now with that uh, note aside, uh, I wish to uh, c commute the uh, new comical wit, uh, which I have just created today. Oh, I am single and lonely, and possibly a bit horny, but that ain't fit for a droll situation, so now we'll just make it corny. I laugh at you, you stupid trolls. Die. Peace. Four days later. Chris addresses the recent kerfuffle concerning his website. Please disregard the uh, statement that was on the uh, on the uh, quickfield.com front page. That was an obvious lie made by the trolls who hacked into my account. But anyway, I also would like to announce that as of this moment, the uh, website is down. So uh, what y'all can do now is like, you know, fine, go to your normal lives, uh, live free. Or if you have nothing to do, you can track down the trolls for me, just clean that Clyde cash. Down with those slanderous trolls. I give them no more food to feed off of. Oh, and also, before I forget, until the day I put up the website again, if I should decide to or not, I will not be putting up in too many new videos either. So I will let you know, obviously, when the website is back up. You will know it is true. Me till then, see you on the campus. It was on this day that the miscreants announced that Clyde Cash was found dead from a probable self-inflicted shotgun wound to the head. On May 29th, Chris discovered a YouTube video commemorating the birthday of someone who called themselves Chris Chan. He left a comment, under the assumption that the video was addressed to him, and offered his correct birth date. In response, a string of commenters left demeaning replies to Chris, most of which citing his self-importance. Later that day, he checked his PSN account, and discovered that the late Clyde Cash had recently hacked into his account, and made two purchases for the sum total of $15.98. Christian then emailed Clyde's cousin, Vivian G, who was handling Clyde's estate, demanding that she return his money. Vivian told him that it wasn't in their budget. The following day, Chris posted an ad on Craigslist, which stated that he was looking for an 18-27 to year old, smoke-free, non-black woman with a true, honest, and caring personality residing in the Rutgersville or Charlottesville area. The next day, his listing was removed on the grounds of racism. On May 31st, the miscreants hacked into his Facebook account and leaked all previously unreleased chats and sent his profile picture to the photo of him wearing adult diapers while winking at the camera. On June 5th, Chris's YouTube account was also hacked by trolls, who then proceeded to upload Christian's original take of his admission to being a homosexual, which Chris had long since deleted. They also uploaded a pro-gay music video. After a few days, Chris regained control of the channel with the help of a gal pal. Upon reacquiring his YouTube account, one of the first acts Chris did was hit the like button on several Britney Spears music videos to publicly reinforce his heterosexuality. 
the aforementioned gal pal was a troll playing the part of a gal pal, who called herself Kim Wilson. She was in fact the same troll who played the part of Emily. Five days later, a series of videos of Christian, Kim, and another friend at a local restaurant bar were uploaded onto Kim's YouTube channel. The male friend present is thought to be named Taylor, but it is unconfirmed. In the first video, Chris finally ends his abstention from alcohol. So, so what do you have right now, Chris? Long Island iced tea. Say that one more time. Long Island iced tea. All right, rocking. Okay. What do you think of it? Those sound salty. Kind of salty? Yep. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. Well done. All right. So, look excited. <laughs> you don't look very excited. excited. <laughs> in another video, Chris is seen singing I Love the Nightlife in karaoke. Followed by a three second long clip of Chris saying, in my head. <laughs> Next, he is seen standing while holding up a balloon fish. Like a balloon. You like a balloon fish? Oh, dude, check it out. In the final video, Christian talks about the charms tied to his PSP. Of the winning videos, the crap of the rapper contest would come out of the PSP version of that game. <laughs> And explain the explain the Omega one again. Guy with the uh, pre-release demo disc of Battle War Chains of Olympus. Do you like that game? Yeah, it was fun. I could play it. Oh. And especially, you know, there's a fun part in the beginning. You know, you get to see two naked ladies and three of us, you know, sets it up, but it shoots off screen. Two naked and it ladies. Shakes all over the place. <laughs> I tell you, a game. On June 14th, Christian uploaded a video of himself singing the song Don't Trust Any Homos Over There, which was practically a cover version of the song Don't Trust Them New N****s Over There, originally sung by the character Uncle Ruckus on the Adult Swim animated series The Boondocks. The video itself solely features a sign that reads, This video is audio only. Don't trust any homos over there, leaving their homo stank in the air. Them sappy, flappy, dumb homos with their nigga finger on the trigger. Don't trust any homos over there. This video was allegedly offensive to Kim's boyfriend and his veteran brother. So in response, Christian uploaded an apology video. Uh, I dedicate this video to uh, Logan, boyfriend of my gal pal Kim. I want to uh, apologize for uh, offending you anyway. Shout out to, uh, you know, his uh, brother, who is a homosexual himself, but he fought in the war. Poor fellow lost both of his arms, but, you know, he did his thing. He fought in the war. I respect him for that. And, you know, I respect uh, some guys who might be homosexuals themselves, but they, comp they accomplish other things, like Stephen Fry, who is a homosexual, but, you know, he did a good job being the narrator on Little Big Planet. And I respect him for that. I guess I was just mad at the uh, majority of the male population that, uh, which, uh, you know, which the majority can be cruel and mean. But, uh, you know, some of the guys, uh, like uh, Logan, can be, or the opposite. Like, you know, they're good guys. They're uh, just doing what they can. And, uh, you know... Also, like, you know, his brother is a good guy. He did what he could in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, other, in Iraq. I mean, no disrespect, Logan. And I apologize. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I can make it up to you. I'll, if you want, I can treat you to a drink one night or afternoon. Or we could just hang out, whatever. Again, I'm sorry for offending you. Take care. Peace. The next day, Kim called him while on the pretense that she was having a sleepover with some girlfriends who appeared in the call as well. 
she even sent him an alleged photo of the group. One woman was coincidentally named Crystal, and another named Asul, whose voice during the call was provided by Blue Spike. Chris later confessed in an email that he thought Asul was hot. <sighs> Captain's Log, start date, June 21st, 2009. <sighs> My name is Christian Weston Chandler. And y'all y'all already know me of the cre as the creator of the Sanchu franchise and comics and uh the uh the Rose Chu comic uh as well. Hmm Towards late June, YouTube user C uh, Chan Sonichu Quick began posting videos under the premise that he was the real Christian Weston Chandler merely for his friends and his own amusement. He imitated Chris's speech and physical mannerisms, presented himself in front of stuffed toys, placed pillows underneath his brown striped shirt to make himself appear heavier, and wore a pencil-drawn paper cutout of Sonichu around his neck to emulate Christian's signature amulet. Uh, this is she, my, uh, my future sweetheart and future mother to my, my loving daughter, uh, Chris, Crystal Weston Chandler, named after the illu illustrious medal. The subject matter of his earliest videos were parodies of pre-existing videos of Christian. I'm straight. I'm straight. Believe me. Goodbye. Peace. On June 30th, in front of a framed photo of Billy Mays to honor his passing two days earlier, he announces that he is dedicating the video to Spass Kid, the creator of Sonichu the Animated Series. He proceeds to mime to his own acoustic rendition of Christian's song, So Need a Cute Girl. Tell me why In a video uploaded on July 1st, Christian denies having anything to do with the untimely death of Billy Mays. I uh, am recording this video to uh, relinquish the false, the false stupid rumors of me having anything to do with the recent death of Billy Mays. <sighs> I, that's such a slanderous lie. You go, it's, it's because somebody dies or you just go blaming the nearest person. It just takes me off. The cause of his death, and I read this to you from a printout from his Wikipedia page, and I quote, On, July, on June 29th, after an initial autopsy on May's body, Dr. Bernard Adams, the Hillsborough County, Florida medical examiner, stated that he suffered from hypertensive heart disease and that a heart attack was the likely cause of his death. I had nothing to do with it, so quit the false rumors. As for the past statement that I did on the video, I did on the video on the mayorship, he, Billy Mays, was never the mayor of Quickville. Never the mayor! I was lying out my ass when I said that because I was being blackmailed during the Julie fiasco. Curse that little 13-year-old brat. Ah, depressed. Yes. So, there you go. That's it. That's it. Alright? Leave me alone. Let me be. I'm trying to find myself, trying to complete my life's task as well, especially finding the woman to be my sweetheart. Have a good day. Peace. Later that day, he responded to the fact that his video, I Got a Fish, was shown on the G4 infotainment series, Web Soup which primarily focused on satirical commentary on viral internet video clips. I would like to say that I am honored to be selected for the, for the TV show on G4. That was my first audio clip I ever recorded. I just randomly feel like doing that right after I created, I create, debuted on a PlayStation Network. I just felt like uh, adding a little, so little dance to that song and uh, being silly, so... Just a little random fun humor. Everybody has to start to have a little fun. 
so I'm honored to be on television and, you know, praised still. But anyway, uh, real true honest ladies in Charlottesville area, or Rutgersville, who can watch G4. If uh, any of them are watching this, I'm uh, currently still single and looking. So, yeah, like, you know, uh, call me on my cell phone if you, know, if you can find it. Or uh, find me in person in Charlottesville. I'm around. I get around. On July 3rd, the individual imitating Chris posted a video claiming that Christian was in fact an imposter. It come to my attention that a troll claiming to be me, the real Christian Weston Chandler, has posted fake, defamatory, and lying and false videos on my former channel. I denounce these. I've been receiving fan art for, to my true and honest address. How else will I get fan art if I was not the original creator of Sonic Show? So here is some of the fan art I will, I will show you. The trolling community began referring to him as Liquid Chris and to Christian Weston Chandler as Solid Chris inspired by the characters Liquid Snake and Solid Snake from the Metal Gear Solid video game franchise. Henceforth, YouTube user C. Chan Sonichu Quick shall be referred to as Liquid Chris. Over the course of the next few days, Larry Bundy Jr., also known as Guru Larry, a video content creator featured on ThatGuyWithTheGlasses.com, released a series of clips from a webcam interview he conducted with Chris. And with me tonight we have Christian Weston Chandler, uh, best known on the internet for a creator of Sonichu, the electric hedgehog Pokemon. Hello there, Christian. Yep. Hello. Uh, yes, good. Bundy used the theme music for Bulk and Skull, two characters from the Power Rangers TV series, as the theme music for the interview. The short videos covered specific topics such as Billy Mays. I've often confused Billy Mays with Richard Karn from Home Improvement because they both looked, acted, and sounded alike. You mean they're both fat and got a beard? Uh, aside from the beard, like, you know, the other facial features and the voice. I just often yeah. confused uh, Billy with Richard Karn. Yeah, I often confuse people with fictional characters as well, so it's, it's quite easy to do. So, yeah. And Little Big Planet. I think uh, I'd like to address a couple more Little Big Planet issues. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. We talked about making making up between the PSP, the PSP and PS3 versions with the cop with the copy of the costumes and the stickers and all that. Mm. Chris paid no attention to Larry's constant and overt mockery of his character. On July fifth. Liquid Chris uploaded a hip hop remix featuring Autotune's voice clips taken from Christian's videos. Y'all think I'm just a sap, a chump, dumbass, whatever you may think, God, are you? But you know what? You, you, every last one of you who has expressed hate against me. On July 7th, Christian uploaded a video denying claims that he caused Billy May's death due to his ownership of a death note, as seen in the anime of the same name wherein the person possessing the name written in it would die unexpectedly. Well, that's just an anime. Y'all, those that are blaming me for that, they're just playing off of that anime. It's not real. I'm not writing any such notes, okay? Just because a couple of people y'all liked passed away, I had nothing to do with it. I was at my cousin's wedding that weekend, so please, just lay off. No more false rumors or accusations. I'm serious. If you want to blame somebody, go blame somebody else. Like the people who actually had anything to do with it. Or the drugs that have done unto them. So there. Have a good day. Peace. On July 10th, a troll who called herself Samantha Thaddeus, also known as YouTube user OxyCleanFanatic2264, hacked into Christian's Club Nintendo and PSN accounts. Chris quickly discovered her email address and demanded that she return the accounts to him and claimed that there was a detective investigating the matter. After exchanging insults, Christian informed her that he made a YouTube video insulting her as punishment. This video was in fact one of three hate-filled videos he directed at specific persons on YouTube whom he believed to be trolls. The first was addressed to Shmion Sonozaki. You hide under a veil. 
I don't know. Are you a pretty woman? Or do you hide a beard underneath that veil? Perhaps you are actually a dude, or even worse, a hermaphrodite. You know what? You get not much of a response from me. Because you even deleted your own account. You are such a cowardly, naive, retarded individual. Naive is the cruelest of words because it questions one's intelligence. And that's what I'm calling you, you naive retard. The next video was directed at YouTube user Sonichu is cool, a genuine fan of Sonichu. Hmm. I don't know. You seem to hide behind a face mask and a beanie. Who do you think you are? Tatsido Kamen? You're so naive and slow in the mind. I couldn't even give a dang about you. And if you want my trust, you're gonna have to do some earning, man. You gotta come out into the open. You gotta come out where I can meet you. Huh? Huh? Dumbass. The final target was Samantha herself. And you think you're so smart, you think you're so corny by doing the things that you have done so far, Mr. Hacker. You think you're so smart? Well, you know what? You're just a naive retard. And naive is my least favorite word, because it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. You naive retarded bastard. You should just go hang, you should just go hang yourself after you give me back what you have stolen from me. Do it now, give them back to me. Or I will send a detective and the police on your case. You bastard, you. Naive, retarded bastard. You are such a coward, you dare not even show your face like others have done, partially, on their YouTube videos. You are such a cowardly, naive, retarded bastard. The threatening nature of these videos led to the suspension of his YouTube account. Throughout the following day, Chris and Samantha continued to send each other emails, but it did not lead to a resolution. In order to upload a video apology for the harsh language he had used in his recent videos, he created a new YouTube account, IBA Chandler, the name of which was wordplay based on the phrase I be a Chandler, inspired by his father's old license plate, I be MRC, I be Mr. C. You see, amongst uh, two out of three, they were, uh, behind, they were wearing masks and it just became very suspicious to me. And uh, they were trying to uh, get some trust from me, but I don't give my trust away very easily. So I said what I said only because I just did not believe them at all. And uh, to anybody who misinterpreted the uh, feelings behind all behind that, uh, I apologize to everybody who saw that and got that impression. And also I apologize for the inconvenience of losing my previous YouTube account, but then I got the new one, but anyway, I will not make such videos again. So let's hope we can move on and I'll get back uh, things that uh, were lost the past weekend. Thank you. Despite his apology, Samantha Thaddeus refused to give him back his accounts. In response, Chris spammed her with over 100 emails, alleging that God will rain down vengeance upon her. Samantha retorted with a list of verses from Leviticus, citing commandments that Chris had not been upholding. He replied by emailing her another plea for the safe return of his PSN accounts 74 times. While clashing with Samantha, he began an email correspondence with her father, Jack Thaddeus. Jack claimed that he was a virgin as well, but was confident that he would lose his virginity during the following week. He wagered that if Chris offered video proof of himself losing his own virginity within a week, his accounts would be returned to him. Chris accepted the conditions and agreed to take on the challenge. Meanwhile, Samantha allowed Christian to hack into her email account, which he then offered to give back to her on the condition that she return all of his international PSN accounts to him. In order to meet Jack's demands, Christian turned to Craigslist, but was met with resistance. In my search on Craigslist, the only women who left a phone number on their ad were under adult services, which they would have wanted money. I tried calling one, learned she wanted a hundred. Then in the middle of telling my story about Jack and my PSN account recovery with a sex video, she hung up on me. Colon open parentheses.
Eventually, Kim found a sex partner for Chris. He wanted Kim to tell her about his involvement with the Sonichu franchise, his fans and trolls, and the terms of Jack's challenge. However, Thaddeus withdrew his challenge before Chris could carry out the task. On July 13th, Kim Wilson uploaded a selection of videos of Chris from another outing they had together. In the first video, he is seen at the Charlottesville Freedom of Speech wall, drawing Sonichu's face and leaving a comment beside it. Christian W. Chandler is a nice and good man. Okay, let me take a picture. Next was a video of Chris playing air guitar to a karaoke rendition of Pat Benatar's Hit Me With Your Best Shot. video featured Christian performing his own song, So Need a Cute Girl, in karaoke, sung over the backing track of the Backstreet Boys, I Want It That Way. The final video was a short clip of Chris after he had taken a few sips of his drink. All female hands on me. <laughs> That is a drink taste. Yeah, it's good. Good. Delicious. It was around this time that Christian went out on a date with a woman whom he later referred to as Farron. While their introduction was partially set up by trolls, Chris under his own initiative asked her out, and she willingly accepted. Chris later stated that Kim accompanied them on the date to take photos. During their day-long dalliance, Christian got drunk and touched her a few times. Ultimately, Farron told him that she wasn't interested in pursuing a relationship with him. On July 17th, Christian released a video titled Roland and Trollin, in which he gives a tour of what he calls Quickville, which is actually downtown Charlottesville. Alright, we're coming to you live from Quickville today. We're over at the Quickville Pavilion. The uh, Hedgehog Boys and uh, Master Christian Mayor, he, uh, they, they perform here every Friday night and uh, it draws a crowd. It's very good, you know. This gets me some uh, business from amongst the population that comes around. In an attempt to troll the trolls, he created the impression that he was an ordinary working man and that the Christian Weston Chandler, as all have known him, was a fictitious persona he had been portraying. He tried to achieve this by radically altering his clothing and hairstyle, removing his amethyst ring, replacing his sonitry medallion with dog tags, and wearing sunglasses and tattoo sleeves. How do you feel about President Obama's foreign policies with countries like Iran and Iraq? Hmm. Yeah, I think he's doing okay, you know, uh, establishing uh, good communications and uh, giving them what they uh, require. Yeah, he's, I think he's doing a very good job with his uh, foreign policies. There is little known about the cameraman of this video, but it is possible that he may be the man who had accompanied Kim and Chris on their recent excursions. It is also conceivable that he edited the video as well. Hey, I'm not near side. Now it's rules. If you want to see what they really do, give me a sec. Well, the uh, truth comes out. I've never been autistic. I work 40 hours a week to support my parents. This has all been a trick. You have been trolled. The following day, impersonating Samantha Thaddeus by using her email account, Christian began emailing her supposed friend, Kate Bay whose email account was in fact run by Samantha herself in an attempt to acquire the new PSN account passwords from her. In addition to Kate, Chris, still pretending to be Samantha, began sending emails to Jack Thaddeus, who already knew that Chris had acquisitioned Samantha's account, and firmly established that he was Samantha's adoptive father. In his reply, Jack warned Samantha about Maurice and other men she had slept with. While conversing with Kate, Chris upheld the pretense that it was Samantha who was messaging Kate by talking about Samantha's former lover, Maurice, and mentioning that he had anally penetrated her. 
After a few more exchanges, Jack revealed that the new plan the trolls had devised was to have Christian's social security payments revoked, since in the Rolling and Trolling video, he denied being autistic and admitted to working 40 hours per week. The only way the plan would be foiled was if Chris were to upload a video admitting that he had autism. Jack also claimed that the new PSN password was Chris Likes Giant Black Cocks. Since Chris tried it and it didn't work, he emailed Kate for verification, but she didn't respond to it. In order to fool Jack Thaddeus, Chris uploaded a video in which he admits to being high-functioning autistic, but judging by his tone of voice, it can be surmised that he wanted his fandom to believe that he was only pretending to deliver a sincere admission of autism and that he was still the person depicted in Rollin and Trollin. Curiously, Christian replaced the original audio of the video with a new overdub. Let y'all know that uh, the video I have recently uploaded where I, with the trues at the end, those trues were lies. Yeah, I'm not supporting my family. I don't have a job. So there. And I am high functionally autistic and I'm nearsighted. Still a virgin. So there you go. <laughs> Take that, you lousy trolls. Peace. Jack was unconvinced by Chris's offering and told Samantha to inform Christian that he wanted him to record a video of himself singing and or dancing to the song Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. On July 22nd, local NBC affiliate WVIR reported on the controversial proposed construction developments which would threaten Charlottesville's McIntyre Park. During an on-the-scene interview, Christian can be seen walking by in the background. I think what we're saying is that it's it, it's going to be compromised, and so we don't know what that compromise is going to look like yet. On that same day, Jack Thaddeus sent an email to Samantha linking a video of Liquid Chris claiming that he had sold official Sonichu merchandise at Baltimore's annual anime convention, Otakon quite possibly exposing Christian to Liquid Chris for the first time. Now, because I, I sold all my stuff, I can't show you any of it because uh, it's not here. But uh, I am uh, I am replenishing my, uh, my stock. So my official stock there. This prompted Christian to make a video attempting to convince his viewership that he was the real Christian Chandler. As you all may have heard about the quote-unquote Christian West End Chandler that went to the Otacon the past weekend and I suddenly uploaded a video of himself in a stupid brown striped shirt with a paper-thin metal replica. Paper-thin. If you want the official merchandise, the medallion is made from clay. Clay! C-L-A-Y. And not only that, remember my face? My face! And I'm nowadays wearing a vest and improving my image. Do not buy any more from this crappy imposter. Who does imposter think he is? Down with him! Burn in hell! And worst of all, that nasally voice of his to think it's making get away with his mind? He's got another thing coming. Uh, but for the rest of you that have been, they are good and true. Peace to all of you, and a pleasant day. He also uploaded a 25-second preview of the imminent release of his cover version of Avril Lavigne's Girlfriend. Hey, hey, you, you, I could be your boyfriend! In response to Christian's recent outburst, Liquid Chris made a video exhibiting Sonichu merchandise, which purportedly is in high demand. Sonichu hats! Well, for, uh, for your every uncle, uh, aunt, son, uh, or daughter. These t-shirts will, uh, give a, the, give a best present to anyone that, uh, you or your parents knows. They are zappingly fashionable. These Sanchu plushies, Sanchu plush dolls. These Sanchu plushies and stuffed animals will brighten up a day of a child or anyone who is uh, young at heart. Oh, what's this on my uh, my answering machine here? Oh, um, hi. Uh, this is Casey. Um, I know you don't know me. Quiet! Yeah, I'm really calling him. Um, so, um, anyway, I found your number, and 
um, I just wanted to call and say hey because um, I think you're kind of sweet you know maybe we could be friends and I can help you with the tough times and because you know you look like you need a friend and you make me laugh you're so funny <laughs> um, this is really embarrassing I don't usually do this for people online but um, just call me back maybe um, okay if you want and um, I guess well as you would say peace and bye well, I'll just let y'all judge on that one for yourself. Peace. Jack Thaddeus changed the demands again and requested that Samantha tell Chris that his accounts would be returned if he humped his PlayStation 3 in a video. In his reply, Chris, as Samantha, called himself retarded and insisted that Chris would not do such a thing. He tried to persuade Jack to accept his girlfriend music video instead and inadvertently insinuated that Jack and the other trolls were pathetic. Jack took offense to this, but nevertheless informed Samantha about a secret troll meeting due to take place the next day on IRC. Chris showed up as expected. However, he first joined the chat using the handle Sonichu, and Nier immediately realized that it revealed his true identity. He logged off and logged back in again using the moniker Sonichu Clone and introduced himself as Bill Riley. Despite the trolls being fully aware that it was Christian in disguise, they continued to indulge him. When asked by a female troll about the dimensions of his genitalia, he announced that his penis was 5 inches in length and his scrotum was 2 inches in diameter. When Vivian G demanded that he produce a photograph of himself to verify his identity, he sent this photo to the chat. They proceeded to discuss the likelihood of Chris producing his PS3 humping video, but Bill Riley instead suggested that the trolls should trick Chris into filming himself forcing himself onto Rocky, his counselor. Jack Thaddeus insisted that if Christian didn't deliver the PS3 video in the next 12 hours, he would report him to Sony, which would result in the third strike on his account and permanently ban him from the PlayStation Network. Thaddeus also informed him that Ivy killed herself because her father forbade her from seeing Chris. Jack also claimed that after Chris's ban, he would use his connections with NBC to present negative coverage of Christian, but if he were to film himself humping his PS3, they would troll Joshua Martinez. Soon after that proclamation, Bill Riley left the chat. Later that day, Christian made a video urging people not to insult Quickville and its citizens. When you diss me, when you diss Sonic you, when you diss Roast you, and when you diss every single citizen of the city of Quickville, you are dissing Quickville. And when you diss Quickville, you diss, you diss every sea bill within these United States. I'm patriotic. Why do you think I started with a red, white, blue shirt? And to continue further, when you diss the sea bills, not only do you diss every single one, but you diss the most important one that I have grown fond of, even though I live just a few miles away from it, Charlottesville, Virginia. You do not diss anybody. And when you diss Sancho, you, roast you, me, you diss Charlottesville, Virginia. Because Quickville and Charlottesville, both in the state of Virginia, are top two seat bills within the state of Virginia. I am an honest citizen. I am sick of being portrayed wrongly. And I will not stand out of the bank by letting, by letting me, the one citizen, be portrayed wrongly amongst all the other citizens who in relation can be portrayed about just as bad. I am a patriotic American. I am proud to be a near citizen of Charlottesville, Virginia. And I am proud, not, not only of all that, but to be a civilian of both Charlottesville and Quickville. I'm Christian Weston Chandler. Thank you. Despite his best efforts to detach himself from the reputation that has haunted him for years, the trolls remained relentless, sucking him back into their universe. And now, Christian was locked in a fierce battle with his worst enemy, himself.